Welcome to NFA Drafting. Today we're going to do an orthographic projection introduction. For every drawing that we complete, we need to make sure that we have a border and title block drawn out on our paper. If you do not recall how to make a border and title block, there is a previous video describing how to do so. Once our title block is complete, we're ready to start drawing our object. The first thing we need to do is determine the front side. From this, we then find our top and then our right side. To identify our front side, this is the side of the object with the most detail. If you rotate the object 90 degrees, that's your top, and then another 90 degree rotation is your right side. We want to start measuring our object so we can start laying out where our drawing is going to start and the spacing of all of our projections so that it's represented most accurately on our paper. The upper left corner of our title block, we're going to consider this our starting point. I always like from this point an even distance to the right and up to start our object. So for this instance, I'm going to go over one inch to the right, and then I'm going to go up one inch to start my object. Since I know my object's starting point is a right angle, I'm going to use my T-square and triangle to just get a nice right angle and then I will finish it off with my ruler. start the next two lines, that's horizontal and vertical, I'm just going to take my triangle and start my vertical line here, and then I'm going to take my T-square and I'm going to start my horizontal line up here, and then again finish these lines off with my ruler. You're going to repeat this process until the entire front side of the object is complete. Since I drew my front in full scale, if I put my object right on my drawing, it should line up perfectly. Now I'm ready to start drawing my top and right side. Since I started my front side one inch over and one inch up from my starting point, I'm going to have a one inch gap in between the front and the top side. I use my ruler to get this side started and then to draw my horizontal lines again, I use my T-square. It's very important to keep these projections lined up so that I can use my front side to dictate where the lines start and begin. If you notice, I line my triangle up with that vertical plane and I transfer that vertical plane up to the top view. This ensures that all features in the first view are transferred up to the top view. Once my top view is complete, I'm ready to start on my side view. So if I rotate the block 90 degrees to the right, this is how my right will end up looking. I want to make sure that I have the same amount of spacing in between my front and right side. So I'm going to go over one inch and start my bottom. Now I'm going to use my T-square to transfer over the feature locations to the right side. 
line up my T-square with that feature location and I just draw a straight line across the object where it needs to go. Once I have all three sides, front, top, and right side, now I'm ready to start adding in my dimensions. I'm going to place my measurement in the center of the object. Here I'm just going to use a pound symbol so that you can find your own dimension. I place that there so it's a nice distance away from my object. I use my straight edge to create my extension line. You notice how I leave it a sixteenth of an inch gap away from the object. And then I finish it off using my T-square. It's very important that you draw all of these lines using straight edges. Okay? I add my arrows. Okay, we know our ratio for arrows, we'll go over that another time, but please make sure that you have all dimensions, all necessary dimensions in this format. The last thing I want to do is fill out each box in the title block, making sure I put the proper item in the proper location. This concludes the introduction to orthographic.